Are you looking to snipe out of your blah winter blues and add a pop of color and vibrancy to your look for spring? Well, you've come to the right place. Spiky Valentine here. If you guys are new here, welcome. And if, if you guys have been around for a while and we're like on this level at this point, then we're back at it again. I gotta ask you guys the question, raise your hands. Was anybody else completely shocked that it's springtime already? Like I'm looking at the calendar, the first day of spring hits, I lost an hour of sleep and I'm just like, <gasps> I honestly have no idea where the first quarter of this year has gone, like seriously, but it, it's gone. It's gone. <sighs> or, or maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm all alone. One thing we can instantly update is our face and our nails, and we can easily do this with the Ipsy Spring It Forward collection. I'm gonna take you through all of the amazing products that are part of this collection so that we can now revitalize and add a little zing to our spring. <laughs> you like that rhyme? See what I did there? <laughs> Let's get started. One of the easiest ways to refresh your looks and add a pop of color is actually through your nail polish. If you think about it, you just have to sit down and paint them once, and then it is going to last you for a week, two weeks. You don't have to do it every single day. So if you bring in refreshing blues and mints and blushes, that's instantly gonna give you that springtime feel. So I have here the full-size Trust Fun Beauty Nail Polish in the shade What's a Budget, which is a beautiful sea foam blue. The full-size Koki Cosmetics Nail Polish in Heavenly, which is a nice periwinkle lavender cream and the full-size Sunday's nail polish in number 05. This is a soft lilac tone. You can obviously wear these polishes just straight on or in any design that you wanted to. I was like, hey, let's go big or go home. Let's wear all three of them at the same time. Why not? So I'm gonna recreate this beautiful basket weave design and it's pretty easy to do. I'm first starting off with a completely optional step. I am coating the outer edge of my nail with a little bit of liquid latex that I have in my makeup kit. I know people use Elmer's glue for it. There are also products on the market for this or you can completely skip this step it just makes the cleanup a little easier next I'm going to apply my base coat to protect the nail next I'm applying one to two coats of the Koki cosmetics nail polish this is professional quality lacquer it is super long-lasting and gives you great full coverage and for those interested all three of these polishes are cruelty free next with the Sunday's nail polish I am going to paint a diagonal stripe from one end of the nail to the other end this is a non-toxic 10 free formula it's also long lasting and has a lot of strength and shine to it. Then I'm taking the Trust Fund Beauty Polish and I'm going in an angle opposite of what we just painted from one corner of the nail to another and this starts the weaved look. And then it is so easy from here on out, just alternate your three polish colors, creating those same angular stripes, working your way all the way down to the tip of your nail. And then comes the fun part, if you did the edge protection, you just gotta peel it off to reveal clean, beautiful nails. All right, now that we got our nails did, it is time to move on to the face, and I apologize in advance for how up close and personal you're about to get to mine, but we're all family here, right? Hmm. This is the very lovely full-sized City Color Cosmetics Shadow and Highlight Mousse in Rose Gold. I am literally obsessed with Rose Gold and it is probably the most universally flattering shade for like all skin types. So you're gonna like this one. This is a lightweight whipped cream that gives a bold touch of color to any look. It can be used as a shadow base or on your inner corner for that nice pop of highlight and color like I am doing here. And it can also double as a highlighter for an amazing glow. I love to use this on the tip of my nose and down the bridge of my nose to really help shape. You can even pop this on the high points of your cheekbones to give it a nice, natural, lustrous glow. It is striking on its own and it will stay put, but if you want to set it even further with your favorite powder highlight over the top, it's going to give you even more zing zang zoom and boom. I have no idea what I'm saying, but that highlight is popping. And now let's finish off our look with our lippies, and I've got a couple great options. First up is the full-size Cosmoholic Liquid Lipstick in Mysterious Mocha. Mysterious Mocha. 
Sounds like an ex-boyfriend of mine. This is a cruelty-free, rich pigment that has a high shine formula. So it layers on beautifully with a big punch of color. And it is non-sticky and also a little vanilla flavored. And lastly, I've got the Deluxe Size Lime Crime Mini Velveteen in shade Riley. This is a beautiful, long-lasting matte liquid lipstick. It's got a warm cocoa brown hue. And because of the neutral undertones, this will work with a variety of different eye looks. And if you're feeling particularly adventurous, try layering the two lips together. And boom, you are done. Your entire look is now revamped and spring ready. And we like that. For more information on the Ipsy Spring Forward collection, check the description box. If you guys would like to see more videos with me, feel free to pop on over to my channel. The link is also in the description. We have a pretty good time and I would love to have you guys. Have a beautiful spring and I will see you guys very soon. Samooches! Bye!